very excited to be in my 40s and get my first degree and doing uh, getting it with my son on the same stage and hopefully very close to each other. Um, Time-wise, it's, it's awesome. I'm looking forward to it, but I'm also nervous, you know. It's a big hall and you walk out there on a the stage and the whole world, it feels like, the whole world is looking at you. But it's a, it's a proud moment. You think in January, I, I thought to myself, oh, you know, it's four months away. It's going to take forever to get there. Now next week, Tuesday, it, you know, we're graduating. So it's a bit of a surreal moment. Um, but I'm looking forward to it. You put a lot of pressure on your child and I had pressure on my, uh, for myself because I needed to prove myself now, you know, I needed to make them proud, showing that I can actually do a degree too, you know, to be in your 40s and do a degree is not easy. They say, oh no, your brain is better than ours because you, you've got so much experience, but it's not when it comes to studying, it's worse. I've, I had to study really, really hard to get you know, the stuff into my head, you know, whether I think the young ones, their brains are more like sponges, they just suck it up, you know, so I, I was quite hard on my kids, um, you know, his brother was in matric last year and he was in his final year and I was, so it was, it's, it's the thing of, you know, a typical mother pressurising the children, but I think it, in the end it paid off. And then when she wasn't in the mood to study or she was getting worried that she wasn't going to get, you know, good marks that she's not getting in the head then you know it's vice versa as well and I tend to try and bring her up and say no it's not that bad kind of thing so it's, it's give and take really maybe off off the bat they wouldn't think it's a good idea because there might already be tension just as the mother and child studying and you know to then have both of you studying at the same time um, I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't be opposed to it I would tell people it's maybe not a bad idea. You don't necessarily have to be studying the same thing. You could be studying two different things. Um, but it certainly helps because then they actually get an idea of what you have to cope with. They might be not be doing it full time like you are, if they're not working and whatever. Um, but at least then they'll have a bit of an insight into how it works and how much pressure there is for a test and just how much work you have to get into your head kind of thing.